How's my hair? Excellent. <laughs> so at the moment I'm heading to Aksum uh, uh, to meet someone super duper awesome because he's here in Ethiopia at the same time we're just traveling opposite directions. Are you ready? Are yeah. you ready to say hello to my followers? Yeah, I'm always <laughs> ready with the camera, you know that. <laughs> so, where are you traveling from now? Uh, traveling from Lalibela, heading north, and here we are in Axum. And uh, from here I'm going north and you're going south. Yeah, so, so you're gonna just it. hammer through Sudan. Good luck with that. You know, it's like 40, 50 degrees a day. Yeah, well, I'm here to get some tips from you, you know, <laughs> just been through there. So give me all the advice. Yeah, and then after you finish Africa, you're finishing it in Egypt? Yeah, probably Egypt or Israel, not decided yet. And yeah. then a ferry stroke boat across to Italy and then Italy back home. Right. So what's next? End of the yeah. trip when you get home? New projects already in the pipeline. I yeah. don't want to say too much. Yet. Okay, cool. <laughs> How are you generally feeling after five years being on the road? I'm ready to get home. I still enjoy it though. I mean, it's good fun. I mean, today's riding was just amazing. Yeah. Um, but five years on the road, I'm ready to be done with it. And most importantly, I'm excited to finish the whole journey. Your I big had. look. The plan I had of going around the world and racing on every continent. That's what I was set out to do. And to get home and finish that, the project won't stop. There's going to be other things, but to finish the big round the world and race on every continent, that's what I'm excited about. That's awesome. I'm so glad to meet you. Finally, you know, I've been Likewise. following you for a long time. Love your videos. Share a lot of stories. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're a legend. Okay, say hi to my followers again. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, so we're going to eat something, Lyndon. Lyndon, you've been in the country for what? Two weeks now? Yeah, just last time. Yeah. Two weeks, okay. I only had one dish in this country, so you're gonna, you're gonna pick what we should eat. Oh, the food is uh, really nice. Yeah. So we're gonna try and find some. And cold beer. Mm, I don't drink beer, so. What? Sorry. He doesn't drink beer, oh my god. I might try a little bit. You don't drink alcohol at all? Uh, not much, no. Okay. No, he, he can still be my friend, that's okay. Um, I wanted to ask you, Lyndon, about the Dakar. How many times have you completed? Um, completed three times, started three times. How did you finance yourself there? Um, Dakar 2013 was um, a combination of remortgaging, cashing things in, selling t-shirts and clothing and things like that to raise the funds to be able to do it. Got a lot of help from sponsors for things like oils, lubricants, sure. tires, things like that. A lot of things that cost to try and reduce the How cost. How much money you need to have to, to raise Dakar? 2013 Dakar cost me, including getting a second-hand bike, uh, about £100,000 to do with everything included. Whoa. And that was with a team. And then the next one I did was 2017. And I financed that through um, a programme where I basically... I was going to make a video about it. So I told the world I was going to make a video about it. And to get people to buy in and buy t-shirts and, and buy into the project and buy jackets and we got these special jackets made uh, and basically buying something but in turn you're contributing to build the budget to do the video which I wanted to make from Dakar 2017. Underestimated it, it took me a year to, with the help of many people to make the video. Um, it turned out really great. Um, but in the back of my mind, uh, the reason that I went back to 2018 Dakar is because I, I truly believed that I could do a better job of the media. And I wanted to do a daily video series. So, and you've done this. So that's what we did in 2018. Um, and that was uh, funded by 
But so the race itself was funded by myself and my sponsors. So for me to be at the race doing the race was funded by sponsors and myself. And then the actual media project was a separate project, and that was funded wholly by a Kickstarter project. Wow. So that was 650 people contributing various amounts to make it possible. How was it? You regret nothing? No, nothing. I mean, it was, it, but don't, don't get me wrong, it was all hard work. I mean, yeah. from, just from the beginning, it's, not, it's non-stop. It's, it's a full-time thing, you know. Raising money is difficult and getting to the Dakar, the hardest thing is getting to the start line. Is the race is actually, you might think that's really hard, but mm. for somebody who knows how to ride a bike and yeah. can enjoy riding a bike in those conditions, the hardest thing is getting to the start line mm. and all the projects and fundraising to make it to the start. So. Right. Are you going to do it again? I knew that question was coming. <laughs> There's no plan know. to do it again, but I'll never say never. Yeah, never say never. Sweet, thank you. So you enjoy your water now, and I'm going to enjoy my beer. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> We're gonna have a beautiful But this is all like something. This is the monument. I think the tree itself is a monument. And then if you follow this road, which is that one. yeah, that one there, it should be, everything else should be on the left hand side. So for today to get fuel, which is super hot uh, in Ethiopia, and we have uh, our guide. What's your name? Sorry. Okay. What's your name? Yarit. Yarit? Yeah. Yarit, thank you. Yarit. Yarit is coming with us on the bikes, uh, well, on Lyndon's it's bike. Often. It's not often I get to use these rear foot pegs on my bike, okay? Okay. So treat them with respect, yeah. okay? Okay. Good man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Okay. Lucky man. Yeah. Not many people have been on bikes. No, no. And so oh. many would like to ride with you, Lyndon, so. Okay. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. You're all in? Hold on tight, he's fast. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Can we do yeah? yeah. He only rides with the front wheel up. <laughs> <laughs> None of them have got gas, that's why I just said you better yeah. just get in it from the black market. You just need to find someone to, to give you it. So we've been cruising for a while now around town and in Sunday. Yeah, they've got it but it's 40, 40 per a litre, but it's that's okay. Good. And they got loads, uh, so but you have to, they're not allowed to sell it legally, so you have to go right to the door right. so that people can see. You need to hide it. Even though people can still see. So good, professional. I like your work. <laughs> so we managed to find fuel at the black market here at this house. Pretty much the price is double over four orders, but we don't have a choice. All the petrol stations don't have fuel today, so. And we both want to leave tomorrow early morning, so that's it. Oh, 
always fill up yourself? I don't want it spilling all over the mic. Yeah. Oh yeah, because it's quite quite access. You kind have to do it from middle, the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I cleaned the bike for you, especially for your sticker, see? <laughs> oh, a little bit. Right. Not even, that's alright. Oh, well, that will work, I think. Oh, that's good enough. How's that? Oh, perfect. Now we can go faster. <laughs> Thank you. Hotel? We want to go see the King's Palace, he says. Nah, you want it? No, we're good. Thank you. Okay. We'll just take you back. Okay. Yeah, enough of sighting. Thank you so much. Huh? Should we give you something? I offered him. He said no. Nah. Can we give you some money? Some tip? Okay. I offered, he said no. Uh, 60? Is that right? Okay, no problem. Thank you. Okay, team. Thank team, you very team. much for your time. Thank you. I am such a bad influence. Linda's drinking! Cheers, mate. Cheers. Finally, be together. <laughs> How's my hair? Good. Good morning. So we're back to, I think you can call it main square of the city. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, the tourist attraction here in Exum to look at, what are they? Uh, obelisks. Obelisks. From which year? Uh, fourth century. And why did they AD. do that? Um, they are believed to be from mass burial grounds. So under here, there's a lot of people buried. There you go. So now we're going to have a little picture together because we on the bikes, and uh, we'll see what's going to happen because we're going to try to actually get on bikes. So yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do it. This is Lyndon's setup, and this is my little setup. Unfortunately, because my tripod got stolen yesterday. Yeah. In the fourth century, fourth AD, um, and people believe that they're. Anyway, oh, here we go. Three, two, one, jump. How long have you been going? Two years. Two years now on the road. On Chile, your yes. BMW. 800, yeah? This is Chile, yeah. Yeah, this is Chile. Um, and what's your plan from here? Uh, well, I'm planning to get to South Africa by the end of the year and then I'll make a call. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll do the west coast of Africa throughout next year or if um, you know, I get malaria five times and I get sick of it, I ship my bike to South America. So I still have Americas to go, so okay. not even halfway. Yeah. Okay, not even halfway. But well, you know, it took you five years. It so. took me five years to so get all go. around every <laughs> continent and I'm on the finishing leg really to get home. Yeah. I ordered a tea and I thought the tea bag had already been in it. <laughs> I thought so too. I thought you already have. But then just the tea bag's separate, <laughs> so that's just the colour of the water. Yeah, yum. Drink it. Don't be a pussy. Ah, it's got um, scents Herbs? in it. Herbs. Ah, right, right. Okay. Oh, you'll be all right. Hopefully, it's boiled. <laughs> How is it? It's like tea now. I put more tea bags into the brown water. Tastes like tea. Yeah, well, kind of. That's good. They do with some milk in it, but they don't do milk yet. No, you probably don't want to try that milk anyway. Um, so our last meal together, we from now on we're gonna go different way, opposite ways. Um, we order some breakfast. Linda, what did we order? Uh, deluxe 
and omelette. Whatever that is. Go and ask what colour it is. See Lyndon's bike in details? There you go.